I want to take a quick look at Google Apps and Google Drive integration with Safari Montage. If you're a Google user and you use Google Docs, Google Drive, this will really pull your Google resources into your Safari Montage workflow. First, I want to note that to have the Google integration requires the Safari Montage Learning Object Repository, the LORE, version 6.3 or later, and Google integration has to be activated by your system admin. You can use your existing Google account or create one if you don't have one. Now here I am on the login screen. If I'm already signed into Google, I can go right here to sign in with Google, click, and I go right into Safari Montage. Do not need to enter my credentials. First thing I want to point out is right on the dashboard, we're going to see several Google apps featured right down here in the lower left, Google Calendar, Google Docs, and Gmail, links directly to your Google account, very convenient. Also on the portal links, Google Drive is now listed along with other portals, and you can go right to your Google Drive. So if I click that, my Google Drive opens up in a separate window, and I can work very easily right between the two. Back to my dashboard. Now these are very convenient, but the real power comes when you want to do a search. So if I'm doing a unit on frogs, for example, and I do a quick search, here are my standard search results with all the format tabs up here. You're going to notice now a Google Drive tab. I click that, and Safari Montage has just done a federated search of my Google Drive returning results for that keyword. You can see here that there are numerous file types, Google Docs, PDF, images, whatever's stored on my Google Drive shows here in the search results designated by the Google Drive icon. You can also see these descriptions that I entered in Google Docs have carried over from my Google Drive. And I can preview these items directly from Google Drive. Now if we take a close look, you can see that there are options here on the left. Options to treat this as a file or a web link. First, let's take a look at file. I can save this file directly to the Safari Montage Lure. Click. And that's a Google Doc. So it's going to ask me how I want to save it. I'm going to convert that file to whatever format I prefer. I'm going to just use PDF. The file is automatically converted and is now stored in my lore. I can open it. I can change the metadata. You can see the description was carried over. I have the, all, all the options to open it, add to playlist, download, edit, and so on. If I go back to my search results, I can see there's now a check mark on save file indicating that file's already been saved to Safari Montage. Now when you save the file in the Safari Montage lure, it becomes an IMS standards compliant learning object. So it's usable in other IMS compliant learning platforms or LMSs for standards like LTI, QTI, Common Cartridge, and OneRoster. And when the file is saved, it's downloaded to the Safari Montage server, which is locally hosted. So that's faster access on the network, and the file becomes part of the regular district backup, so it won't be lost. Now, in addition to saving the file, we also have the option to save the item as a Google Drive web link. The benefit here is that rather than downloading the file and saving that in the Safari Montage system, it's actually going to save that URL as a perpetual link in Safari Montage. What that gives me is version control. I can now work on a document ongoing on my Google Drive, and every user will see that updated version. And I can also collaborate with users just like I would using Google Docs. Very cool. So if I click Add Web Link, that URL gets saved to the system, and I see a red check mark noting that it's been saved. Now note the My Files tab up here in the search results. This is showing all the search results that are in My Files for that keyword. Those are the files I just saved. One is a PDF, one is a web link. If I go back to my dashboard and open My Files, I'll see those files here as well. Here's the PDF and here's the web link, both in My Files. And just like any other Safari Montage resource, whether it's a video, a document, or a web link, a QR code is automatically generated by the system for that item. Very important. If I go back to Search Results and my Google Drive tab, you notice that we also have the option to add these items directly to a playlist or to a lesson if you're using Lore Lesson Presenter to build lessons. So I take this Google Doc and I want to add this to a playlist. I haven't even saved it to the Safari Montage Lore yet, but I click Add to Playlist. And once again, since this is a Google Doc, I get to convert that to the format that I want to save. That doc is now added to my active playlist. And you can see that it's both been saved to the Lore and added to the playlist. If I go to my active playlist right up here, scroll to the bottom, there's the item. Now note the item has not been shared yet. So if I want to share that, you can open it, click Edit, click Share, and share to the district as well. Now if I go back to the playlist, you see the item's ready to go. And I can move it around just like any other item. So I go back to my search results, 
and I can see these check marks to confirm that it's been saved as a file and saved to my playlist. I also have the option to add this to a lesson if I'm using Lore Lesson Presenter. I'm going to add this web link to a lesson. Here it is, comes up with my active lesson by default, and I'll add it as a primary resource. And we can see a check mark here, tells me it's been added to the lesson. If I go to the active lesson and look at my lesson snapshot, there's my item added directly from my Google Drive to my active lesson. And back in search results, again, the web link is checked as saved and saved in the lesson. So that's an overview of Google Apps and Google Drive integration with Safari Montage. Now let's take a look at the Google Classroom integration in Safari Montage.